There is a new provision put in the minor possession of alcohol law that took effect August 30th of this year. Um, and it was more put in place for, so people under the age of, of 21 years old, if they're consuming alcohol and their friend has been consuming alcohol, and let's say their friend um, has had so much alcohol, they, they need medical attention. It's just apparent they need it. Um, they don't want to deter, you know, that 18 or 19 year old kid from calling medical units because they think they're going to get themselves in trouble. I, I think the Good Samaritan policy, the intent of that was for when students have in, drank too much for whoever's watching them to call and then it, the idea was for the student to get some help. You need to meet those four requirements. You need to call when it's immediately apparent that, that medical attention is needed. You need to be the first person to call. You can't just piggyback on top of somebody else's phone call. Um, you need to stay on scene until the medical units and or law enforcement arrives and then you do need to cooperate with them, answer their questions, um, tell them what's going on, stuff like that um, to meet those, those four requirements under the provision of this law. We are a dry campus. It is, it's against policies on our, on our campus to have them. It's against their housing policies. It's against student code of conduct policies. Uh, and then it is ultimately against the law if you're under the age of 21. You know, I'm not naive. I do know, you know, 18 to 21 year old when students do drink alcohol. Um, but again, I just try to um, reiterate the consequences of, you know, if you're caught with alcohol or caught under the influence of alcohol. And then I just try to educate students if, if ultimately they're going to make that decision to do it, I at least want them to do it safely. The whole goal is to not have anybody die because of alcohol poisoning and trying to remove some barriers of students doing the right thing, which is calling to help a friend. And I think on campus, we all support that. We want to make sure that we don't lose a student because of alcohol and um, poisoning. Just because that friend was like, gosh, I don't want to get in trouble, so I'm not going to call. Uh, maybe somebody else will call. Um, I, don't want them, I don't want my parents to know that I was drinking alcohol. I would say make the call. It's better to make the call and know that your friend is going to be OK than it is to not make the call and then potentially something bad happening to your friend. Um, I think that would be a pretty big thing to live with, knowing that had you made the call, they might still, still be here.